<laughs> so today's my birthday. Um, it's all right. It's not the very best weather outside. It's actually a little bit of rain in here. So I guess I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> Mind you, there's other people. Let me got birthday today. They're busy like trying to make everything look the nicest outside. They are like flattening down that, and we even got a lock now on this door. We go open that now. Um, it's amazing how they just come and do that today now, just because they have that open house. And the other side, over there, and well, you can see our front bit here. With that apartment's front bit, they have um, started putting the grass down. They have like a rolling grass. Why they couldn't do that in ours as well right now? Um, but they've said that tomorrow we should get our terrace taken down. I'd like to see that happen. It would be nice if it does work. Um, but as of now, I'm waiting for my mum and dad to reply. I actually wanted to go out to see them, like, spend a few couple of hours out there, an hour or so. And then, um, just relax. Got no plans for today. It's just, um, another day. And if you're a kid, I understand the fully magical part of birthdays and presents and all that. But when you get older, it's, it's not too important anymore. It's just another year slammed on year numbers. <laughs> um... It's nice to get presents though, and I had like this nice car from Paul and there was a little bit of money in, but I also had this lovely chair which I'm in now and that's like a really nice present. Um, it's so comfy and so nice and I really enjoy sitting in it, so that's a great present. And then I got some money from my mum and dad, which is also cool. The plans are today that Paul is going to cook some nice food tonight, which I said so like, oh I like that. And then we're off to watch Paranormal Activity tonight. I hope it's good, we'll see. I know that the West Zealand Centre, which is a shopping mall down not far from where we live here, is in this town. Um, they have like a redone a lot inside. I'll have to go and see that maybe. Gosh, I'm tired. Paul has just been on the phone to a company where we have our internet. And uh, I have said for a long time that I was not very happy with my phone provider. Um, the signal is not very good and I don't get much data with it. Well, I get okay data, but not that much. And I've been with them for many years, even though I never thought the service was very good. So we thought, why not get everything under one contract company? Um, so we got that now. Plus, uh, Paul has got himself an early Christmas present for himself. And I have got myself a birthday present for myself. So hopefully within a couple of weeks time, I'll receive a package or we will receive a package with two iPhone uh, 6S plus 128 gig. So that is like... Oh my god! Birthday present for myself. Um, I'm buying it uh, in Denmark. You can buy when you get a contract. You can buy uh, a phone and you can pay them off over 6 months, 12 months or 24 months. And uh, I've decided to go for the 24 months. It's going to be cheaper for me. They're not, the price on the phone is not going to be more expensive than if I went to buy it because it's interest free. Um, but I'll get the phone and pay it off in 2 years. And 2 years yeah, it might sound like a long time, um, but I had this like three years, so it's not a, a big deal and I want to keep the other one for just as long as I can. So that's really nice. I'm really excited about that, getting a new phone. There's this old one here, the iPhone 5. I'm going to clean it up, buy a new uh, screen protector on it. it has a, uh, from the very day, I had to have screen protectors on and a case. So when I take it out, it's hardly a scratch on it, hardly anything. Um, and I'm going to buy a new um, cover to put on, um, one of those um, real glass ones and give this to my mum because her phone, she got an iPhone 3GS and that is so old. So she's going to get my 5 and that's going to tie her over till whenever she's going to feel like she needs something new. Alright guys, we are at the West Zealand Centre. I want to show you something funny here. Like, look, got a handicap sign right there and it says there, no leaving bikes here. Yet they got a bike rack right there. What a freaking joke. <laughs> We're going to see how the new West Zealand Centre looks now. Not, just not all of it, it's just the middle they're done. So that's going to be interesting to see. So this is a change guys. Um, all that used to be a closed ceiling before, now it's open straight up. And very very light, and also the ceiling's got new lights. It used to be very dark in here. So it's hell of an improvement doing that, it was really nice. And they're going to do a coffee shop down there. Nice to see they modernize something and makes it look really good. 
Um, we'll be going out to the store now to get the steaks for tonight and some vegetables and stuff. If you guys actually wondered how all I am getting, we got some numbers here. And there, is one there. there we are, 36. Which means I can have beer and a burger and wine. I don't drink wine, but that's fine. <laughs> Let's go out and see what Paul is doing. Hello, Mr. Chef. Ooh, look at that, guys. Gonna have beef medallion. Is that beef medallion? Beef medallion, yeah. And five vegetables, all cooked oh, in the night. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Million, whatever. Um, and all the uh, vegetables are cooking down the nice juice of the meat. Bernays sauce, which is some of my favorites. I love Bernays sauce. And chips. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. As this day wasn't good enough already, like having a really great birthday so far, I also had a, a message from a website called eTransporter.dk um, saying that they want me to test one of their um, sec boards, air boards, hover boards, e boards, whatever they're called. You know those things that everybody at the moment like have videos where they're standing on this two wheel thing and rolling around. Um, so I'm so excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna be making a video for them, but it's gonna be in Danish, and I really want to try and make a s super super good video for them. And I hope they will like what I do. And uh, definitely, I'm all thrilled and excited to get to try one of these things. Uh, that's so cool. Um, I don't know if I'll get to keep it. I I will not set my mind up for that. I probably will, but. Um, at least to get to try one would be cool, and I think it's a new version as well. It's got a built-in speaker, so you can listen to music. That's so freaking awesome! <laughs> Paul and I are heading down to the cinema now, and we're going to watch the scary movie, Paranormal Activity, um, Ghost Dimension, I think it's called, uh, which is the last one. I am excited to see it. I watched all the other ones. And sometimes, well, most of the times, I've been a little bit disappointed on them. Of course, there are some points in the movie where you get like a good jump scare like oh shit and you're like jump in the seat and everybody all the girls go wee and stuff like that um how does it go wee <laughs> but the overall uh movie has not always been like very impressive um that's why i have a little bit more expectations for this one because this is supposed to be the reveal uh of what's been going on through the other movies and as far as I know, it is like an independent movie. You can watch it if you haven't seen the other one. But if you've seen the other one as well, then um, or the other ones, you will have a better understanding um, because there are some links between them all. But um, yeah, we'll get down there now. First, pop into a sweet store and get maybe a soda and some candy because it's dreadfully expensive in the cinema, so we're not getting it there. So here we are at the cinema. Paul just handed me the uh, gift card. Is there a poster on what we're going to be watching? Yes, there is. That's the one. Yay, I'm looking forward to see it. I hope it's as good as it looks. We'll see. Let's get inside. Oh, the smell of popcorn. <laughs> All right, guys, we came out of the cinema. Um, after watching Paranormal Activity, I can't remember if it's the fifth or sixth one. Um, the, the thing is that there's a lot of jump scares in there. A lot of people, especially some girls in front of us, they were like, Paul and I had a giggle because they were screaming like the brain. Shit, they're ridiculous. <laughs> they were shit scared. Honestly, in my opinion, I didn't jump once. It was so predictable when the jump's gonna come. As a score out of 10, I'd give it two and a half. If max. Um, <laughs> I'm not ruining it for you guys, just wait for the car. <laughs> but honestly, I had hoped for a lot better. And also, they all said that this here is going to be the one where we're going to get the uh, reveal of what's actually been going on. You don't! I'm not going to say a lot more, I just say we don't get to know what the ending is. So that's a little bit boring, but um... Oh well, we watched it. <laughs> Now Paul and I will go home and see a real monster named Sally. <laughs> so if, if you haven't been to the cinema yet and you plan to go just to see that, let me tell you, it's no different than the other ones. It's about the same. Whoa, this camera is almost in 3D. That is insane. What's up guys? <laughs> yeah, um, we get these uh, real 3D glasses from the cinema. 
and we get to keep them. So, anyways, um, paranormal activity, the ghost dimension. Um, if you're easy to get jump scared, uh, yes, there are quite a lot of those. And I did like some of the movie. Um, some of the part is made almost like public eyes, where it's like ghosts around the house and moving stuff and, and all that. that. Some of that is quite, quite good. But the ending in the movie is shit. I really did not like it. I thought it was so bad. And uh, also some of the 3D graphics um, or some of the 3D effects, they used um, graphics, computer graphics to do some of them and they weren't that good. They were like almost as bad as some of the things I've seen when I went to um, Disneyland, Paris. Uh, or even the real one in Florida when I went there. So, not too big a fan of that. Well, I've seen it and it's okay. Um, other than that, it's been an awesome day. I'm really, really happy. Uh, it couldn't have been a better birthday ever. Um, woke up not too late, went out to see my mom and dad, and then we found out that we we're gonna get the iPhone 6S Plus, the, the 128 gig. Um, they are in back order, so they're being shipped out to us whenever they get them. And I'm changing my contract to another um, provider, which is much cheaper, and I get a lot more data, which is great. And then, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I'm going to get uh, to test out a sec board, or air board, hover board, e board, whatever you call them. Um, I'm really excited about all that. So all in all, it's been an awesome, fantastic day, and uh, I had like a nice card I showed you ball. Oh, and you remember when I was in the shop, supermarket, I showed you a card which said 36 years old? <laughs> one of my friends sent me a card, and would you believe that is actually the one? <laughs> that is the one I had from Paul. I really like that one because it had all the different languages. Of saying happy birthday is so cool. Or oh, not all of them, but it has quite a few. So it's been a really nice day. I really had fun. Oh, and all this candy here. Um, this is stuff which was in the bag I got from Christian. And it's got a whole lot of uh, energy drinks in as well. So thank you so much, Christian. That's nice of you. Um, gotta try and watch my diet, but <laughs> I'm not letting that go to waste. So yeah, got the tickets here from Paul and I. The paranormal activity. Um, you can go and watch it, but personally for me, nah, not so good. Anyways guys, I want to go to bed, it's like almost 2 o'clock a.m. And I've been really crashing out this is after we came home from the movie watching some documentaries. Um, I do like to watch that a lot, and yeah, you learn a lot from it. So I'm going to catch you tomorrow. Um, plans tomorrow is to hopefully film my um, 25,000 subscriber giveaway. And not only that, also the video with the green skateboard in there, that one. Um, because I need to film that video before I can make the giveaway. The problem with giving away stuff like this is like it's so heavy to ship. And shipping is so expensive in Denmark, so that kind of sucks a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to see you tomorrow, guys. Stay awesome and epic. Thank you for all the, the like congratulations you've given. And please give the thumbs up button a like. Um, that would be nice. And... I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Peace. There we go, guys. We have it done, which is too school for cool. I mean, shouldn't uh, he can't hear anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, because he's wearing his sunglasses, I'm wearing mine. Hello! <laughs>